Hi there, this is Mark DT from Park My Ride. Today we're going to show you how to uh, add music to your Zumo uh, GPS device. Uh, I'm going to be using a Zumo 660 for this and I'm going to be using an Apple with iTunes which is a pretty common program for a lot of our riders. So starting off, in your Zumo you're going to have to add one of these which is a micro SD card. So it's a little larger than the common SD card. You can see there's my finger, there's the SD card. They're quite small. Now where you install the SD card in the back of your device we remove the battery and the SD card goes right in there. So you can see there's the little SD card. I'll take it out. Not always the easiest thing. There it is. And so it just slides inside and positive click. And then we take our battery, the battery, the three bars line up to the three bars here and we insert. So now it's inside. Now with your Zumo, you should have received a cord, which is a USB connection to the back of your computer. So we'll plug this in and I'll just have the screen right here. We'll start showing the device pairing. So we can hear the device now has come to life. Uh, this is also an alternative way of charging your device. So we'll just leave it there, but there's nothing that's going to be happening on this. Everything for the next bit will be happening on screen. And it takes usually about 30 seconds or so, depending on your computer, for the uh, device. It'll have to go through a start, a charge, and then there you can see now it's recognized. Mark Zumo is uh, the name of my micro SD card and then the Garmin device. So the next thing we have to do is open up iTunes. So there's iTunes, and there's my uh, Zumo files. Now what I've done is I've created a folder called Music. And if you don't know how to create a folder, on the top, right here, under File, you just open up File and go New Folder. So you may have to do this the first time and create your uh, own folders. So there's the new folder, but in this case, we've already got the folder created, so we'll go back to our Zumo window here, and I'm going to click on Music. And I'm going to go down to one of my favorite bands, which happens to be Rush. Now, right now, I've got these two albums already added, Rush Moving Pictures and Rush Spirit of the Radio. So today, what I'm going to do is show you how to uh, add an album um, already to an existing file. So we are in the Rush file folder. I'll just go back so you can see that again. So there's all our music. And I'm just going to double click Rush. So I created that by going File, New Folder, typing in the name of the album that I want. Now the next thing we have to do is iTunes does not create MP3s by default. It creates a, a higher form a, a file that's not compatible with the garments. So what we have to do is create MP3 files. So the way we do that is we use, if, uh, we'll click on a song name and then if you take a look on the keyboard, I'm going to hold command then we'll go back to screen and holding on to that command key we're going to click all the songs that we wish to make MP3 files of. So there's all the songs. Now I right click my mouse and when I right click my mouse an option comes up called create mp3 version. So we're going to click that. Now on the top of the screen here we can see converting and it's now converting all of the files. So Again, depending on the speed of your uh, computer, this is a pretty quick computer. Um, if, uh, if you're using an older Microsoft laptop, it might take a little bit longer and you may just file, uh, find like the 
location of the, where the open new fold are not in slightly different locations, but for the most part, the technique remains consistent. So it's just got two more songs to go here, and then we're going to take the next step. And the last song. So now all our songs have been uh, created in MP3. So if we take a look close at the menu, you can see two song names, Caravan, Caravan, BU2B, BU2B, Clockwork Angels, Clockwork Angels. So what we're going to do is highlight every other song. So I go Command, and I hold the Command key as I cl left click every other song. So now that I've got all these songs highlighted, this is my rush file here for the Zumo on this side of the screen. So what I'm going to do is left click and just drag a little file onto that and it's going to pick, take all those MP3s and drop them into my Zumo, Zumo um, US, or SD card. So I just grab anywhere on any of the blue lines and I move it, and now you can see the little highlight 12. So that's the 12 MP3 songs. So I bring it over, and I let go. And now I can say, copying 12 items to Rush. Now this does take a little bit more time, so we'll just pause the camera here so you don't have to watch all 12 songs get copied. It's showing about two minutes. Okay, so our two minutes has gone by, and we've created all our new files. So you can see here, it shows kind mp3 audio. So we know that we've transferred the right format of file into the Zumo device. The other thing to notice is that every once in a while, you're going to see song one, song one, song one. And that's because each album uh, has a song one. But even though they're all in the f same file, you'll see um, a little bit later in the video that it doesn't matter because the Zumo is smart enough to separate them into the respective albums. So don't worry that you've got multiple song ones or song two in the same folder for uh, the same artist. It's not a big deal. Now, coming back over here, you can uh, see we've got all of our old uh, songs highlighted that we were working on before. So now, I don't know about you, but I don't like having two of every song in my iTunes file. So now I right click and we know that these are all the mp3s that we've just created so I just go down to delete and click and it comes up with the are you sure you want to delete the uh, selected songs and yes I do so I delete them and do I want to keep them or to the iTunes media folder or move to trash I just move them to trash so I've still got all the original songs there all I've done is move all of the uh, mp3s over and then I deleted the mp3s that I just created there moments ago. Now the last step here is we're going to go over to the left or right hand side of the screen where we've got the open folders. So the upper folder there is my Zumo folder which is the uh, mp3 or sorry the uh, SD card. So we're going to eject that and we're going to eject Garmin. And when we do that, and we'll take a look down here on the GPS, it makes that little click, that blurb, 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 and that uh, tells us now that it's been properly ejected. And now it powers up. So, just taking a look at the steps here. I happen to be listening to Rush before, as you can see. So, when we turn on the uh, GPS, or it does sometimes take up to a minute or so for all the albums and everything to source. So now the word browse has come alive, so everything's in there. So when we touch browse, we're going to go by album, and if we take a look, Clockwork Angels is there with all the respective songs. So if I wanted to play them all, I would just hit play all. There's the 12 tracks. If I go to um, artist, I can select artist. I'm going to jump to the letter R. Rush, 
and then we can select by the album or by the band. So if I select by the album, there are the three albums installed. So even though the original file folder had all the songs in order, the GPS does the sorting for you afterwards, provided that you've legitimately uh, taken all your albums out of your iTunes library and that everything's been uploaded properly in iTunes. So anyways, that's Mark DT. I hope this video has helped you out. Uh, please feel free to leave comments or uh, visit us on the site and uh, send your questions there. It's uh, farcomyride.com. Thank you.